How is this for you tonight, bringing it, it all together? It's extraordinary. I mean, for all of us, it's such a thrill. Everybody's worked so hard to make it happen. And to be honest with you, it started as a very small idea. And, uh, and that was when John Cole and I decided, look, if we can raise some money, we'll go over and teach some kids how to take some photographs. And everybody else who's got on board has done ten times more than we ever have. So really, it's for everybody tonight. And the main people, the most important people, and genuinely, are the three photographers, because... Uh, we've managed to get three of the eight kids that we were trained over here to the UK. They're in there showing people their pictures, and the pictures speak for themselves because the pictures are wonderful, and it warrants them being brought over and exhibiting their work. And can you tell us a bit about the journey that you went on? What was you know the idea behind the whole concept? Well, funnily enough, um, I was... I was working on another training project with a colleague of mine in South Africa, a guy called Kweku Mandela, and he happens to be Nelson Mandela's grandson. And we were going up to Wembley to watch a football match, and he pointed to Wembley Arena and said, oh, is that where they did the concert for my grandfather in 1988? And I said, no, that was in the stadium. He went, no, it wouldn't be in the stadium. I said, there were 88,000 people in the stadium, and that's where it was. Anyway, to prove this, I went and got a photograph. And I took it off uh, Alamy Images. It was £1,000. I didn't have £1,000, so I rang up the photographer. And I said, can you bring me that photograph, and I'll get it on Nelson Mandela's wall. And he said, no, you won't, and put the phone down. <laughs> and I rang him back up, and I said, I promise you we're genuine. <laughs> Sent him a few DVDs of the training stuff that we do. He came down, brought the photograph with him, having found the negatives after 22 years, signed the photo. We got it on Mandela's wall, and John and I sat in a cafe in Brighton, having never met each other before, and said... I said to him, do you teach kids? And he said, yeah, yeah, I do lots of teaching. I said, would you come to South Africa and teach some kids in Soweto how to take photographs? He said, absolutely, whenever you like. So that's how we did it. We decided to raise some money, went out there with the World Cup in the background and took eight kids from the Amuzi Photo Club and they are absolutely dynamite. And how important do you think it is to have projects like this where you can go over and you know offer your talent and skill and things that they might not have ever had the opportunity to do if you hadn't gone out there? Well, I, I mean, I, I think it's so important, especially over in places like South Africa, because obviously there are a lot of other things probably more important than teaching people how to take photographs, like building hospitals, like looking for uh, antiretroviral drugs for AIDS victims and what have you. So I know that... You know, art and photography probably aren't the highest priority on the list for the government, which is fair enough. So I think for people over here who've got a passion for doing something, it's a great opportunity to either do it here in this country, because people's thirst for knowledge is so great. You know, get them involved. Go over to South Africa, do it in the East End. We're working on the East End at the moment for a project with the Olympics coming up. And the main thing is the talent is there. It's just allowing people to see behind the magician's back and going, it's not an exclusive thing. We can all get into this game. And if you've got the talent, you will thrive. And these kids have got the talent, no question. And do you think this is something then going forward you can, you know, do in other areas, in other countries, you know, take it forward from here? Absolutely, it's already started. I mean, we're these kids that we're that we've taught to to uh, to. Uh, bring their work over here and now going down to the East End to work with kids from Newham and Stratford and Tower Hamlets next week uh, via the Desmond Tutu Foundation they're going to do skill sharing our guys the South African guys will start teaching the guys in Newham and Stratford who will then become part of our Olympic team who go and take photographs with the backdrop of the Olympic Games. We're also going to Brazil in 2014 with the World Cup there. We'll take kids from the favelas of Brazil and we'll uh, teach them how to take uh, photographs of their country's World Cup. Uh, Poland and Ukraine in 2012. So it's spiral. This was supposed to be a three-week project to really you know, go out there and see if, 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 if people would be interested. And, uh, and now, yeah, the legacy is great. And the main thing is that the photographers that we've, that we've experienced and the photographers that we've taught and now getting work. They're working as photographers. To Pello, who's in that room, you've definitely got to talk to the guys. Much more important to listen to them than me. But To Pello is now taking pictures of the South African Parliament. He's taking pictures uh, for Vodacom. He's taking pictures for Marie Claire magazine. And, uh, and he's just done a, a huge um, uh, shoot yesterday with Alan Rickman. So, you know, it's just unbelievable what's happening for them. But they, it's happening for them because they're good. Yeah. And it seems that it's not only just about their talent and, and taking photos, but it's also turned into a bit of a community and meeting new people, going to different cultures and that kind of thing as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, for these guys, of course, you know, you can't imagine the idea of them uh, coming to the UK. I mean, when we were taking these guys out of Soweto, three miles down the road in Johannesburg, they'd sometimes never been to those places and were quite wide-eyed. Wow, this is Hillbrow. Wow, this is Yeovil. So to come to the UK itself, 12-hour flight, 10,000 kilometres, 
they're absolutely blown away. But the thing is, they've settled so quickly. It's absolutely incredible how quickly they've settled, they've looked. And the wonderful thing is to see their photographs now of London, because it's not the London that you and I know, because they're taking things that we don't really notice, we take for granted. And with these guys, it's not going to Big Ben and the House of Commons and, you know, Buckingham Palace. It's Londoners and people in this great city, you know. It really is a great project and I'm sure everyone's looking forward to seeing where else it's going to take off for the Olympics and in Brazil. So thank you so much for that. Thanks, Emma. I really appreciate it. Take Cheers. care. See you later.